Dear students, today we will do sums on page number 70. Add the numbers and check in maths book of second class. Students, I keep rupees 38 more in rupees 18. Then how much money does it become? Let us count 10, 20, 30, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, and 56 total money is rupees 56 when i keep rupees 38 more in rupees 18 the money becomes more when i take back money the money become less so the numbers of notes is increasing decreasing this is known as inverse operation now By adding rupees 38 more in rupees 18, the money is becoming more. So, when the notes are increasing, we will add. By adding rupees 38 more in rupees 18, how much money does it become? Yes, rupees 56. Now, I take back rupees 38 from these rupees 56. So now money is less. Money is less so we will subtract. When I take rupees 38 back from rupees 56, it becomes rupees 18. Yes, rupees 18. Now, if I take rupees 18 from rupees 56, the money again becomes less. By subtracting rupees 18 from rupees 56, how much money is left? Yes, rupees 38. So, students, we can get two subtraction fact from addition fact. And by making the subtraction fact the base, we have also learned to check addition sums. That when we add 38 to 18, it becomes 56. When we subtract 38 from 56, it becomes 18. Similarly, when we subtract 18 from 56, it becomes 38. This is also known as relation in addition and subtraction. Now students, we will solve the sums. When we add 72 and 24, what do we get? Yes, 96. Now, what will we do to check the sum? When we subtract 72 from 96, we will get 24. Yes, 24. So, this 24 is same. It means we have checked that our sum is correct. Now, we will do our next sum. When I add 49 to 46, what will we get? Yes, 95. What will we do to check this sum? We 
can also check by subtracting first number from 95. So when we will subtract 46 from 95, what will we get? Yes, 49. So students, we have checked that our sum is correct. You have to do sums on page number 70. Add the numbers and check from your homework.